Hello and welcome to the Justice Factor. The ANC's Land Summit has recommended that the state begin expropriating land without compensation immediately to test the limits of Section 25 of the Constitution. My guest later on today to respond to the ANC recommendations is EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivam. After that discussion, we'll give you a comment of the week. But first, what does the ANC's new interventions on land reform actually mean? My guest is ANC National Executive Committee member, Ronald Lamola. Ronald Lamola, welcome to the show. I, I want to draw your attention to what Parliament said when it said the Constitutional Review Committee uh, should be formed. It said, review, go and review and amend Section 25 of the Constitution to make it possible for the state to expropriate land in the public interest without compensation. Have you done that? Have you resolved that the ANC is going to push for uh, expropriation of land without compensation by changing Section 25 of the Constitution? We, we, the, the, the ANC's approach to constitutionalism is that the, the Constitution is a mandate for transformation. It has got a lot of transformative imperatives that we can use, but it's not a static document. It can be reviewed. And that is the reason why the ANC now, as it, it stands now, believe that we must proceed to expropriate, call to action all government departments which have got expropriating powers to use Section 25 with immediate effect. But if there hold is on, any hold challenge... Hold on, So you are going to use Section 25 without amending it? Yes, we can use it now with immediate effect because they are already in Gauteng, they have started, the, the expropriating powers, the state has it. So the issue that has always been argued by what many... What kind of land are you going to expropriate? The land for redistribution and also land for restitution. You can do it for labor tenants, you can do it for redistribution because Section 25.5 allows you to do redistribution. So it can be done. And there are already cases, the same Caesar case of a labor tenant, which has already gone to various stages of the court, it can be done. There are 20,000 labor tenants which we can quickly attend to that. So why did you agree in Parliament to support the EFF motion brought by Julius Malema to review and amend Section 25 of the Constitution it's, if it's, you it's, don't think it's worth uh, it's, it's amending? Be it's because there is a doubt among some of the practitioners who says it has never been tested. And that's why we're saying by proceeding, we're going to test this uh, section. So that is the reason, because if then you proceed and you find challenges, the Corn Court can clarify in that regard and test it directly. And that, so that is the, and that's why we are also saying we must also put an expropriation bill before Parliament, which must categorically state expropriation without compensation, and therefore it can also be tested at a Corn Court. There are people who say it's time to move on this land issue. After 24 years of ANC uh, uh, administrations, you have done pretty much nothing. Uh, I would say you've done some, but some many yeah. say you've done pretty much nothing, yeah. and therefore you need to move direct. Don't go around the bush, don't go to jail, go straight to the, to the port. Why that's, are that's, you... that's why we're going to the port. We're saying, let's government pro uh, departments that have got expropriation powers, let them proceed. What port are you looking for if we're saying, let's proceed? So you're going to have a wholesale uh, number of expropriations from Gauteng, from the Western Cape, from all over? is going to, those, the government departments, there are a lot of them, a plethora of them, I think about seven, that mm -hmm. have got expropriating powers. They have mm -hmm. never been used, including on issues of housing, including on labor tenants who are being evicted every day. So we're saying those powers must be used. They must be tested if there's any challenge. So the ANC is a government, cannot suspend it, it from doing its work. So that's why we're saying our approach to this process, it's a multi-pronged one. We're attending to government work, which we have to do, because we can't suspend our the, uh, constitutional obligation, but we'll also participate in the constitutional review process. And when we have gone through this process of the government and so forth, we'll be able to go to the constitutional review process if we have met hindrances and say Section 25 to be, say, subject to compensation, let's amend it to put without compensation. But at this stage, we believe government can proceed. You're going to the constitutional review committee. What are you going to say to that committee? What is the ANC position on reviewing and amending Section 25 of the Constitution? Is that because the, at the moment can I just say, it sounds to me like you're fishing, that you're saying, you know what, we're going to see what the Constitution says. You don't have a, you don't have no, a position. No, we're not fishing. We have a position. We're saying it's multi-pronged. We need to implement it immediately, the Section 25. And the Concord can come Why and now? say... We've, we've, we must accept that there has been a slow pace, and one of the reasons there was a slow pace is this issue of a, a market-related compensation. 
So we have realized that there's we no need to move there. There's nowhere in the Constitution there. that says that, oh, you must pay market-related. Yeah, there's no way. And that's why we're saying this uh, uh, misinterpretation needs to be corrected immediately because we have realized this even from misinterpretation, misinterpretation to put market-related market, market, uh, market related prices. So that's why we're saying... by the ANC. Yeah, that's why we're saying it must be corrected. We must implement what the Constitution says because it has got many factors which you need to consider so why when, you deal, I meant section when you deal... When you deal with Section 25, it has got many factors that it puts, which when you consider all of them, the issue of the history of acquisition, the extent of state intervention, the extent of um, market and so forth, you can arrive at a zero compensation. So that is clear to us now, and that's why we're saying let's proceed with the powers that we have. Why not just change the constitution? You've got 62%, Mr. Uh, the EFF, uh, and its support with 6.35%. Boom, you've got two-thirds majority. You can go for this now. Yes, we're beating about the bush. We're not beating about the bush. We're implementing. We're a government who can't suspend our Why work. are you implementing we this way and not the EFF way, the EFF proposal? So, uh, Justice, are you suggesting that government must now stop working because there's a constitutional review process? No, no, no. It no, can't. No. It must proceed. We will go to the constitutional review process and say, look, we have Try this implementation. You'll agree with this me that it's quite interesting to see it's not, suddenly it's, it's uh, not, the ANC government working so hard. It must work. Movie. It has to work. That's what we need to do. After and that's what four years? Yes, we have to work. If we have seen that there is a problem, I let's attend to, to this you problem. That the EFF has put some fire under your seat and that's why you're suddenly awake. No, we, we, have, we, we are not suddenly awake. We have, all, we have been in a trial and error process. And you're going on. And we have learned, and we, have, we have learned, we have seen the mistakes. We are now proceeding to implement. That's what we are saying. And we are going to participate. It's, a, it's another arm. The, the Can process I put it to you review. that the reason why you are not going for one position, and I'm not saying I meant Section 25 of the Constitution. But even if we, we go with justice, we cannot suspend the work of government. Government must proceed to work. Yes. So the, the process of the review does not stop government from working. Mm. Let's put it this way. I wouldn't say government mustn't stop working because the government has had the chance So why, where is the problem years. when we're saying let them proceed to do it because they are allowed? Where is the problem? No, no, there's no problem. Yes. I'm that's just what saying that doing. you're going on a fishing expedition it's not when a fish. before you is it's a not chance a fish. to be decisive. It's not a fishing expedition. We're being decisive. We're implementing. Are you going fishing because the, your party is divided between essentially two factions? One which is trying to get 25, uh, Section 25 uh, of the Constitution amended, and one that says that you can uh, achieve the means that you want to achieve. Now, in fact, the party agrees that the Constitution is not a static document. You can amend it when it's an impediment. And that's why we agree. the first time that you're yeah. amending it, it, particularly these clauses. Yes, it will be. If it's, an, if, if it's an impediment to us achieving the objectives that we want, we're saying let's proceed. But that does not stop government from implementing this issue. Okay, which we're so saying already there are cases which are test cases which can be implemented immediately. And that's why we're saying let's proceed with them. Ronald Lamola, are you saying you're doing it just to see if you're allowed? Why don't you take the chance and amend Section 25 of the... What are the consequences of amending Section 25 of the Constitution? Look, the, 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 the issue, Justice, is that you will, you will know scholars agree on this issue. Mm. So the only issue that they raise is that it has never been tested. So we're saying let's proceed. So I'm asking you to job. be brave and yeah? say... The people and the party, uh, the economic freedom fighters, which put this motion before parliament, was being populist, was being uh, uh, irrational. I want you to tell me that the ANC is choosing this way because it's the right way. You're telling me that the ANC is choosing the route that it's taking. The ANC is choosing a multi-pronged route, which includes immediate implementation because it's the governing party. It cannot abdicate its constitutional responsibility, but it will also go and participate in the constitutional review process. And if there is a need to amend, it is going to proceed to amend Section 25 to be to put without compensation for clarity and to remove any ambiguity. The state, the ANC led administration today is a major landholder, has been a major landholder uh, for, for 24 years and before that. The ANC right now is failing, has failed to give parcels of this land, whether they belong to Transnet and so forth, to ordinary people. Why should I believe that now, suddenly, this very incapable state will do what you, as the ANC says, 
it should do. Yeah, I think that point was raised when we gave the press conference today that um, one of the challenges that the state entities had, there's a, there's a law that denies or pro prohibits them from giving land for, for, for example, for human settlement. So we are, we, want, we are also saying that is a law that must be amended. The, the, the land that is lying fallow for Prasa, Transnet, and some of the big state entities, which can be easily unlocked and be given to the people, particularly in the urban centers, we must proceed to do that. Hmm. Let me ask you, Mwelet Mbeki says uh, this, you are not serious about land uh, issues. He says that this is a ploy for you to get uh, votes. No, we are, we are very serious. And um, I think uh, you will see it has come from the conference. The branches have said, let's review the past 24 years. We have seen it hasn't worked. So we're saying we must put it together. It's not for the purpose of votes. It's for what we, are, we have been elected to do in the past uh, uh, 24 years. So we need to act. And until the next elections, until the last day of elections, the ANC must continue to govern and implement the resolutions. And where it feels something needs to be done, it must do it. So we cannot stop because people are going to say we are doing it for elections. We have to work every day. Mm. Even government. on the eve of elections, we are still going to work. Mm. Yes. And after the elections one day, I'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> it was lovely to be at your conference. It was very stimulating. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Justice. After the break, Floyd Shivambo of the EFF. Stay with us.